Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Adventure Map. We're getting to the end scene now of our adventure map, and I'm going to need your guys' help in the comment section. But just hold on a moment, okay? Because the story so far goes your boat has crashed in this area. You don't know where you are. You walk up the road, you find a bandit camp. They say that they're not going to help you unless you do something for them. You save his pig, which we done right at the beginning of the series. You save Reuben the pig, you bring him back, they thank you very much, and they say that we really can't help you, but maybe the main uh, town can, maybe the main city can, just down the road. So you travel down the road there. On the way there, there is a maze, a little temple maze underground that we built for some bonus stuff if you really feel like doing it uh, along the way. You get to the castle, you speak to the king. He says... I haven't really got time to help you. I've got a, I've got a city to manage. I can't help one person get home when I've got a whole city. There's a spider on my wall. I'm a little bit scared right now. But he directs you to uh, the mad scientist that lives up in that floating island we built with a little steampunky house on it. He says that he can help you. In fact, he wants to get off the island as well using his airship. But the airship isn't quite finished yet it needs three main parts or, or three parts to finish it off the first part we get by fighting the giant zombie uh, the yeah the goblin zombie whatever you want to call it the giant goblin that we built with the arrows and the bow and the shooting the mine carts to make him blow up once you do that you get the bone meal that gives you the strength that the ship is gonna need in order to get through some of the storms that are gonna come your way when the storm comes when you're on the airship you go back to him he says excellent he says the next thing that we need is in this area and he directs you towards the giant squid you have to do the little parkour slash redstone challenge to get the squid ink to give you the speed in order to get like through the wind and the storms so we've now got the strength and we've got the speed uh, then he direct you go back you say you know uh, I've, I've got it what do we have to do next he says there's only one more bit he says but it's a dangerous one he says there's a hidden area underneath the castle so you go underneath the castle you go through the portal uh, into what is actually the nether but we're using it as like a, a weird parallel area of little biome rooms that we've just finished off building where you have to find a little hidden button in the room to open up a series of doors to open up a fake stronghold room which then drops you through into the end where you fight the ender dragon and once you beat the ender dragon we'll have a chest there or I can make something spawn in your inventory when you kill the dragon to give you like a dragon breath and this dragon breath is what's going to fill up the balloon in order to get the balloon to get the airship off the ground uh, we, we need something light they don't have helium in minecraft apparently so we're going to use dragon breath in order to hold up the uh the uh, airship in the sky now it's a good storyline i really like it but i want some optional things along the way some more side quests obviously we've got the blacksmith side quest which i don't think i've shown you that we've got the maze side quest but i also want some other things so your job in the comment section below this episode is to think up a really cool side quest it doesn't really matter how long it is don't make it like insanely long uh, but just some sort of optional things uh tell me what the reward is for doing it make sure it's not too overpowered um maybe Maybe it's just even food or something silly like that. But, you know, make, make some really interesting law. I'm AFK, apparently. Some law friendly quests um, to, to our adventure map that we're building here. If you've been following it through the series, you'll know what suits and what doesn't suit. Now, airships. Airships are one of my favorite things to build. I haven't built one in so long, but they're really fun to build because you've got so so many options you can make them as simple or as wacky uh, as you like there's there's so many different ways to do it what we're going to do is we're going to have to go up in the sky i know i can use it with world edit but sometimes it's just easier to go simple and just pill it up i don't want it too high above the ground here i've just found a little ocean biome out here it's actually not too far away from where you spawn funnily enough uh, where you first start uh, but this is where we're going to build the airship uh, I think uh, and I, having the sort of a, oops, having the trees and a little bit of an island below, it's just a little bit of a, a nice surrounding area. But yeah, the airship's going to start here. Now it is going to be a, a really wacky airship because I love doing wacky shapes and sizes to stuff. We're going to be using dark oak for the main hull. 
uh, we're going to be using uh, stone or cobblestone probably in fact. Uh, cobblestone and cobblestone stairs and slabs for some bands and some detailing on the hull. And I think for the moment that will actually be everything. Um, we shall work out the balloon and stuff like that later on, one thing at a time. Now, they're really cool to do some really fun shapes here. There's so many options that we have. I think this is going to be uh, the side here. It's going to be a really exaggerated boat shape. It's a really, really uh, weird shape, if you like. So we're going to bring this back and we're going to sort of head towards where the front of the ship is going to be. If I can get my finger right. So we want to have a gentle curve to the front. And then we want to have this going down the side. Down here. I'm trying to keep it exactly the same as what we've got on the, on the opposite side here. And I think... Yeah, I think that's pretty good for the minute. So let's bring it out to here. I think it needs to go a little bit wider. I think I want it to go a little bit wider. I'm actually going to do that. Make sure you do the same on the other side. Otherwise, you get uh, a little bit confused sometimes of, uh, of what you've done on one side and not on the other. So we're going to have this sort of coming out here and then come out again. Take these blocks away. I think I've hit something on my mouse. I think I hit the uh, the DPI setting. I've made my mouse a little bit more sensitive than what I'm used to. And it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Oh, I just clicked the button and fix it. But I can't really be bothered to find out at the moment. Okay, so we've got a little bit wider here. That's better. That's a little bit more of a, a better width. We're going to come down here. X amount of blocks. I don't know how many I'm doing. It's sort of a little bit... Um, off the top of my head at the minute but yeah really nice long sharp front you know that, that gradually gets towards a, a sharp point and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it go quite thin we can actually drop this down a few blocks like this now this is what i love about airships is that you can make them so wacky shapes and they will still look good you just need to put a little bit more work into them um, but no matter how weird the shape ends up being, as soon as, when it's up in the sky, for some reason, they look absolutely awesome. So we'll have this one coming back here. And then in here. So, so far, we've got this sort of shape. And then I actually wanted to come back wider again for the bum of the ship, the back of the ship here. So I want this to come out quite... Um, quite sharper than than this sort of curve you see how oh, this curve is very slow this uh, curve is a little bit sharper this curve i want to be uh, a lot sharper it's just going to come out sort of every two blocks ish and then sort of come out a little bit more gentler out here do the same on this side do, 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 do. so so many different options for for airships one of the one of the easiest things to build in a way because you can't get them wrong. There's no way that you can get them wrong as long as they, well, they don't actually even have to look like a boat. In fact, if you Google Minecraft airships, you'll get some really cool ones, some futuristic ones, some steampunky ones. We're going for a sort of steampunky one with a somewhat traditional uh, pirate ship-ish look. Um, but you can get some really sort of uh, modern feeling ones and uh, and they look pretty cool as well. They're a little bit harder to do. They're a little bit more complex. This is a sort of a easier shape to sort of uh, to build with. And there we go. That's where the back is going to be. So as you can see, it's a really wacky shape with very exaggerated lines and, and, and contours. Uh, once we've got the sort of shape that you want and the size of the ship, you're going to want to do the bottom line next. So we're going to bring a sort of line that comes down here. I think we want this to be a little bit sharper at, at start. Maybe even sharper than that. Maybe even come down like this. And sort of slowly, slowly bring it down. Is that about the right depth that we would want? That's about right. I think I want it to go a little bit deeper. So we're going to come down here now. How's that looking? That's looking really nice. Now what I want to do is um, 
no, I think I actually wanted to come down a little bit further. Then I wanted to go up and then back down again for the butt. So let's come down here, make this a little bit lower. Just like a couple more blocks. Something like this. And then we're going to go to the other side, to the middle point on this side. And we're going to bring this down here and start to uh, start to curve this around a little bit like this now how are we we're about we're a little bit lower on this side than that side that's absolutely perfect what we want to do is drag this forward get to about where it starts getting smaller and start to come up quite sharp like that and then we want to basically just join those two up together so we're gonna bring uh, I think I'm gonna go up another another block or two and then slowly and gradually join them up together we're not too far off now something like this beautiful and we get ourselves a really wacky boat hull shape that's so what's so cool about this is that you can go as crazy as you want and it totally doesn't matter now filling in the sides of a boat can actually be a little bit tricky i'm actually going to change this up slightly i'm just going to make this line a little bit longer like that and then just affect that one just a little bit a little bit of tweaking here and there uh, filling it in filling in the side of this boat hull uh, is, is tricky but there's some things that you can do to make it a little bit simpler on yourself and it's by putting some bands up before you start so we can go from about here and we want to drag this down and you want to sort of curve it to there and basically this is going to help you and you can use it as a sort of template uh, of when you're building the sides on lines to stick to so you want to have something like that oh we're a little bit too low we'll go back up one and change up this shape just a little bit something like that beautiful so you get yourself a nice little curve i think there's a little bit more tweaking that needs to be done yeah that's better so we've got one band there we can do another band here Oops, I think that was too far out. Keep it in line. I guess that one. And here. And then one on this section. So we'll come down here and out here. Is that in line? That is in line with each other. Good. Let's bring this down. Start curving this in. Yeah, it's, it just makes doing the rest of the boat just a little bit easier. You get a, a really decent shape if you do it this way. Now, I got that a little bit wrong. We just need to sort of tweak this up a little bit. And there we go. So now it makes it a little bit easier to fill in the rest of the boat here. Uh, some other tips that you can do to help you along the way is at the bottom areas. You can make these. Uh, you want to stick with a sort of it's, it's sort of a weird shape you want to do you want to make these sort of uh, Eclipse shapes a sort of squashed circle shape whenever you can So see how that sort of half of a squished circle and then the other squished circle will be on the other side You want to keep with that sort of feel so then we're gonna go on this level and we're gonna run this around the side here Like that and then you want to make a little bit thicker in some spots a little bit thinner in others Again, you can't get it wrong. As long as you keep working on it, y y it won't go wrong for you. So keep going around each layer. It's the easiest way to build a boat. Out to there. And sort of add a little bit whenever you can. Obviously, you don't go wider than the part of the boat that you're doing. And then this one. This is the first one that's actually going to be more than one block tall. So we're going to have that going to the end. Oops, add a couple of blocks, I think, like that. And then this one. This one will pretty much be on the same height. And then this one comes out again. So you keep doing this all the way up until you get to the eventually the very top. And you'll remember to use uh, 
try and use these bands as well so these might get a little bit thicker now we're getting closer to it we can start thinking more about it we want to join this block up with the same height which is this one right here so we can now start joining this up like that we can now sort of fix this underside like that and beautiful we've now joined up that band to this band and now it's just a simple matter of joining up uh, each of the uh, sections because it's all at the same height we haven't made it go up or down yet we've kept it a completely flat top which means all of these lines will just join up together so we go like that this one comes out though so we're just gonna add a couple of blocks like that this one again comes along here for the moment keep these lines straight and flat keep it you'll see these sort of squares appear keep it like that for the moment we'll tweak that up at the end once you sort of got the entire side done okay and then we can come out here fill those in i think you guys are hopefully are starting to get the uh the pattern on how things work with these boats and how to start them off it will all get rounded off later on but for the moment you sort of keep it nice and square and simple because it makes it easier to uh, to not get it wrong and to keep it symmetrical as well. So we're pretty much a straight shot up now. So we can just fill these in like this. For the moment, it will look very blank and bland. Uh, you've got no windows. You've got no secondary color or tertiary color uh, going around it. It's very much just a giant mass of uh, of wood. And uh, that will change up slowly. Okay, so at the top here, this is actually wider now than the one at the bottom. Don't worry about that. Just sort of find a middle point. Keep it square again still. Don't don't try and round it off just yet. Uh, we shall round it off later on. And then, oops, up here. Like that. And boom. As simple as that, you've actually found yourself with a uh, a nearly completed side what well, you know a large portion of the boat completed and it actually doesn't look that bad what we can do now is now we've got a section we can start sort of making it a little bit rounder now with this dark wood you can't really see too well uh, but what you want to do is you want to make these sort of uh, a more of a rounder edge instead of a, a square edge which is quite simple it's just a matter of adding and shaving off the occasional block so as you can see now these parts are sort of rounded you can see a lot of difference now it's, 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 it's a lot more rounder instead of being square and i think we want to do that add this one and these going down here it'll come to you if you haven't ever done this before it might leak it might seem a little bit daunting at first but very very quickly you'll get the hang of it so quickly i'm gonna leave that one there i'm gonna take these ones out those ones out Put that one in there there and there and then remove those ones put that one in there that one in like that that one in there see we're starting to all round it out it's starting to look a little bit more smoother now instead of these straight corner lines that we had before oh i see one missing right here i think we want to have it more like that and I think that's good. I think I can't see any lines that are like too long and straight. This one should be curved. And that should have an extra one there. And that looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me. I'm, I'm happy with it. Yep, we're going to go with that. So, you're just going to do this for the uh, rest of the ship. And do exactly the same patterns as what I was doing earlier for this section. And, uh, and you'll have a complete boat hull. So I shall be back. Okay, so if you keep with that pattern 
all the way round, make it square at first, then round off the corners, you'll get something that looks something like this and I really really like it now the back here uh, is a little bit flat but that shouldn't really matter because we've got a little bit more shaping to do we're out of time for this episode uh, but at the moment for example it's like dead straight all the way along the top in fact with this wood it almost looks like an Easter bunny that's been cut in half you know when you get them Easter bunnies and when you unwrap them out of the gold foil they've actually in two halves that's really disappointing because I like I like them to be in like whole and then you have to smash them but sometimes they come in anyway I'm going off the subject uh, we definitely need to make this uh, a little bit more interesting lines going through the top we want the back to be a lot higher than the front a lot higher than the front so there's an awful lot of shaping that we need to do but the main body of the hull is hiccup now complete and i really like the dark wood it is very very dark at the moment but that's a good thing because what you've got to remember is that the balloon that's going to be above it is going to be made out of white wool or some sort of whitish block uh, which is going to be very light so having the black the, or the darker color uh, boat and the lighter color balloon will make a really nice contrast and uh, and sort of complement each other if you make everything light it doesn't look that great if you make everything dark obviously makes it look too dark there will be some things on the side here there'll be some accenting blocks and the cobblestone ribs going down the side uh, to try and lift out a little bit of the darkness but if you don't like it you could always make it out of a different type of wood it's it's uh, definitely up to you exactly what blocks you use uh, any modifications make sure you do on both sides don't do them just on one otherwise you're gonna be not exactly middle are you <laughs> i think what i'm gonna do is i can actually remove those ones and then i can take out that entire line that also gives me a little bit more room on the inside area of the boat as well and I think it looks uh, has a little bit more of a, a better shape. Looks totally awesome though. We've got wings and rudders and propellers. So much to do. It's a really cool project. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Next episode, we'll be carrying on.